Welcome back to Postcards from St. Petersburg. Today we're paying tribute to St. Petersburg's, or rather Leningrad's, greatest rock musician, Victor Tsui. If you only ever listen to one Russian rock star, it should certainly be Victor Tsui, uh, the co-founder of the band Kino. What's special about uh, Victor Tsui, partly was the, was the time when he came to prominence in the uh, late uh, 1980s, uh, when obviously Russia was undergoing a great deal of changes. Uh, the censorship of, of rock music was disappearing. Um, and he was part of what was called the New Wave, uh, a post-punk movement comparable with uh, groups like Joy Division in the UK with, with Ian Curtis, with a, with a rebellious Promethean anarchic sound, but very much controlled and melodic. Victor Tsui's father was of Korean descent, uh, but he was deported to Kazakhstan by Stalin in the 1930s and grew up in, in southern Kazakhstan. Uh, but he moved to St. Petersburg before Victor was born, um, Leningrad as it was called at the time. So Victor was, uh, grew up in, in Leningrad. <laughs> As testament to his huge influence in music, there is an ongoing rock club in St. Petersburg based in the building where he used to work as a boiler stoker. He used to fill the, uh, the boiler with fuel. It's called Kamchatka. And small local bands play there and uh, often cover songs of uh, Kino and Victor Tsui. And I'm going there with a friend this evening to listen to some of his music. So we're outside the Kamchatka club here. Here is uh, Victor Tsoi on the wall, a picture. And here is the entrance to the club over here. You see it's like an underground entrance. <laughs> Josh 
Харрисон, который очень любит деньги, послушал мантры и заторчал, купил билет на барахонт и поехал в Дели. И в ушах его все время Гитары играл. Я смотрю в чужое небо из чужого окна и не вижу ни одной славы. Imagine a venue set up to pay tribute to one singer with multiple bands playing every night of the week, only that singer's songs. I, I can't imagine the same in, in Britain. The closest I can imagine in the Western world would be Elvis Presley in America. There were four bands all playing uh, Victor Tsoi's songs. The place was full of people dancing that knew all the words to his songs. A wonderful environment, absolutely great for Victor Tsoi fan. So that's Postcard from Petersburg's tribute to Victor Tsoi. We'll see you at the next Postcard from St. Petersburg.